Well, you've heard of the term STEM in education, science, technology, engineering, and math. Well, this morning we have a new acronym for you, STED. Denver 7 education reporter Nicole Brady is here now, and this week students will move into the brand new STED school in Commerce City. Yeah, it's a new campus and a new idea in education that agriculture touches so many aspects of our lives, and we need a new generation of kids to learn how to manage it. Putting the finishing touches on their new school, these freshmen are excited for the next four years. It's really exciting to just be able to like create like a legacy for the school and just like start it off and like getting to decide like what STED will look like in a lot of ways. The mural is just one way students at the STED school are getting to design their own education. STED, which stands for Science, Technology, Environment, Agriculture, and Systems Design, is all about hands-on learning. It's what brought teacher Amy Weldy to Colorado. It's not a traditional schedule. The focus on the project-based learning and being able to get hands-on, obviously I'm covered, uh, get hands-on in the learning. Classes won't be traditional. For one thing, the building looks more like a barn. And inside, large rooms may serve as spaces for multiple subjects at once. Working with teachers in the same space even, so it'll be very collaborative for students. Of course, another key component of the STED acronym is agriculture, training the next generation to solve the problem of feeding and maintaining a growing global population amid threats like climate change. We have people retiring from the industry, family farms are closing, and the reality is we need to build the next generation of thinkers and problem solvers. And so the whole premise of the school is preparing the next generation of leaders to solve these really big global issues. Stead will soon have animals roaming the campus, a greenhouse, and beehives to study pollination. But students won't all necessarily become farmers. They'll be choosing one of four pathways. Across those four pathways, there are 3,000 career possibilities. I've kind of thought about aerospace engineering a little bit. I'd like to be an Air Force pilot or an environmental scientist. Shaping their environment and their futures in a high school that will prepare these kids for college or the workforce and a changing world. I think we're getting like more than the high school experience. Like we get to do even more than like what regular high schoolers get to do. And they started school in August in another building, but the students get to move to their new campus this Friday in the Reunion Home Development. Brian. Fun. Thank you, Nicole.